Hello everyone, I'm back for another Fear Street review. I know it's been a minute, there were the holidays and a new year and I'm in the middle of a move, but I had to take some time and give you my thoughts on the menu. So, uh, as you know, I'm going to try to do it without some spoilers, but I've got my drink here, so you never know what could pop out of this mouth of mine. Um, so, if you would like to, you can hit pause on this video, you can go to HBO, and you can watch the menu, and then you can come back and get my full thoughts if you're worried about spoilers at all. Um, yeah, so in the menu, a young couple travels to a remote island to eat at an exclusive restaurant where the chef has prepared a lavish meal with some shocking surprises. And boy, did it have some shocking surprises. That is for truth. <laughs> so the menu is directed by Mark M Malod. Malod, I hope if I'm mispronouncing that, please correct me. I will fix it in the future. Um, and it's written by Seth Rice and Will Tracy. Um, so my thoughts, I'm going to start with some positives here. I thought that Anya Taylor-Joy, of course, is it's just a joy to watch. I love watching her on screen. I've loved her since The Witch. She has mesmerizing eyes, I feel like. just They just suck me in, and I, I love her on screen. And I thought she did a fantastic job in this film. I thought, of course, I love my girl Judith Light, but they didn't, They her character was so severely underutilized. They could have done so much more with her character. Like, I probably could have watched a movie with her character at the center of it, and it would have been really fun. Uh, but again, she's she's incredible. Hong Chow is a highlight. Janet McTeer is a highlight. Of course, John Leguizamo's here, and he's always a highlight. Um, Nicholas Hout, I've seen him do better stuff. Um, Ralph Fiennes, Fiennes, hopefully, again, correct me. Um, I've also, I've seen him in better, you know. Now, for the film as a whole, unfortunately, y'all, I was kind of bored. I mean, there are some positives here, of course. There's, you know, there are some good, decent surprises and some twists and some turns and some this and some, and some that. And, this. and, you know, overall... It's not a terrible ride. It just, especially the first half, the pace felt glacial. It felt so incredibly long. Um, so I would have cut that first half down a little bit. Um, I did find some humor in this, which I was not expecting. I There were a couple times I really, I laughed out loud. Um, so that was nice to have. And I, again, I wasn't expecting that <laughs> for this film that I came in to watch um and yeah yeah so that's that's kind of my, where I'm at with it you know there were some good twists and some decent turns and some fun laughing moments and some some good to great performances it just the pacing in that first half kind of killed it for me honestly and and the and I needed them to raise some stakes in the second half. I mean, they did in parts, but it never really felt cohesive and connected to other things. It just felt bumpy. as I guess a good word for it. I don't know. But so unfortunately, y'all, this is a, a nay for me. It's a soft nay. I know through my feeds, some of you are really going up for this film. And I am glad that there's a fandom of this film. And I'm glad there are, people are enjoying it. Um, it's just, it wasn't my cup of tea per se. I So yeah, it's a soft nay for me, unfortunately. But let me know. Do you agree? Do you disagree? You can comment below. You can hit me up on the DMs. You can catch me outside. How about that? Uh, <laughs> anything and everything. I am, I am always love to hear feedback from you guys. So yeah, let me know. And as always, make sure you stay fierce out there.